Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to Practical Programming Channel. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with WebGPU graphics programming. In the last video, we discussed the color map model. In this video, I will explain how to use the color map model to build a 3D simple surface. Mathematically, a surface drawing a Y function on a surface for each X and Z coordinates in a region of interest. For each X and Z value pair, a simple 3D surface can have at most one Y value. We can define a simple surface by the Y coordinates of points above a rectangle grid in the XY plane. The surface is formed by joint adjacent points using straight lines. Typically, a surface is formed using rectangular MS grids. However, WebGPU only provides triangles as the basic units to represent any surface in 3D. In order to represent a surface, use traditional quadrilaterals. We need to write our win functions. Here, we will use the gate tool to clone the source code used in the last video. Here is the download link at the GitHub repository. From this link, you can download all the source code used in the last video. Now, open a command prompt window and run the following command. Git clone and paste this link. This will generate a WebGPU 23 folder on your local machine. This folder contains the source code used in the last video. Now we want to change the name of the WebGPU 23 folder to GPU 24. Rename 24. And CD into it. At this point, we are going to start Visual Studio Code with the command code. Period. This is Visual Studio Code interface. Okay, we can close this welcome page. Now here contains our source code used in the last video. Now open a new terminal window and run the command npm install to restore the npm packages used in this project. Okay, finished now. All the installed packages are stored in node modules folders. Now we can close this terminal window because we don't need it. This video is based on the color map model discussed in the last video. In the SRC folder, we need to add a new TypeScript file called surface.ts. First, we need to introduce the Rex3 module from the GL matrix. Import from GL matrix Rex3. And then we need to introduce the add colors from the color map data.ts file. Add colors. This add colors function was created in the last video. Now let's add a new utility function called normalize point uh, that will be used to normalize the 3D point to the range of minus one and one. Here is the code for this function. Uh, you can see from this code that this function takes 3D points, the minima and the maxima values of x, y, and z value range as input uh, parameters. We then use the formula here for x, y, z to normalize the x, y, z coordinates into the range of uh, minus 1 and 1. We also introduce the global scale parameter here. This parameter allows you to change the value range of the x, y, and z coordinates. Uh, this will be convenient for setting the default size of our surface plot. Uh, this function returns the normalized 3D points. 
as mentioned before, our 3D simple surface will be formed by the quadrilateral mesh grids. As shown here, you can see you can see the surface is formed by quadrilateral grid. Here, the unit grid is a quadrilateral with four vertices: P0, P1, P2, and P3. We can divide this quadrilateral into two triangles. P0, P1, P2, this one triangle. Another triangle is P2, P3, and P0. Now we will create vertex data, normal vector data, and color map data for this quadrilateral. Now we need to add a new function called create call. Define a new function here, call. Here is the code for this function. Uh, you can see here that this function takes the four point P0, P2, and P3 as its uh, input argument. It also takes y data value, y minimum and y maximum, and the uh, color map name as its input parameters because we want to add the color map to the y value for our surface. Of course, you can color map the data value in the other directions, such as x or z direction. But conventionally, we usually add the color map to the y value. Here, we first create the vertex data for these two triangles. You can see we put the vertex position data here. This is for first triangle. You can see this is P0, P1, P2. Another triangle the vertex is P2, P3, and P0. This is the vertex position data. Next, we define the normal vector for this quadrilateral. We already discussed how to obtain the normal vector for this quadrilateral before. It is simply equal to the cross product of the two diagonal lines of this quadrilateral. You can see here, we first introduce these two diagonal lines P2, P0, P3, and P1, as shown here, P2, P0, P3, and P1. Then we take a cross product of these two lines. Next, we normalize this cross product to obtain the normal vector for this quadrilateral. Now, all the six vertices of this quadrilateral has the same normal vector, Cp. So here, we just put the CP value here to get the normal vector data. The above code for the vertex and normal vector data are standard for creating 3D objects with the lighting effect. We have used this code many times to create different 3D models. Now the new code we need to add is the color map data. Here we will add the color map data to vertices of this quadrilateral. P0, P1, P2, and P3, as shown here. Here is the color map data for these four vertices. For the P0 vertex, we use the P0 Y component, P01, and the Y value uh, range, you know, Y mini and Y max, and a different color map name to get the color map for different vertices. Here for P0 vertex. P1, P2, and P3 will get four different color map data. Note that the add colors function returns the RGB array. So here we just add this RGB component to each of the six vertices of these two triangles. You can see C00 component means this red component. C01 is green component. C02 means the blue color component. So we add all this RGB component to these different vertex positions. Follow the same order of the, these two triangles to put the color map data here. Finally, the create a call function returns vertex normal and color data. The create a call function only create data for a single unit grid. Now we need to create data for the entire surface. Now we need to add a new function 
called simple surface data to this file. Another function here. Simple surface data function. This is the code for this function. Here, the first input argument f is the math function that describes the 3D simple surface. This function will be provided by the user. Then we define the range of the uh, x and z direction. Use the minimum and the maximum value for the x and z. Next two input uh, parameter nx and nz represents the grid divisions along the x and z direction. Here the scale is a global scaling parameter used in the normalized point function. While the scale y parameter is used to control the y value height relative to the x and z value, that is, the scale y controls the aspect ratio of our surface plot. Inside these methods, we first define the size of the unit cell uh, dx and dz. We then calculate the relative positions on our surface by calling the mass function f here. You can see inside this for loop, we get the point on the surface by calling the f mass function. Here we also cut a y value range here. Next, we reset the y value range using the scale y parameter like this. Next, we normalize the vertex position by calling the normalized point. Function. You can see we normalize these points, the position on the surface by calling the normalized point methods. Here we define the range for the color map. It's a little bit different from the, you can see we use the y minimum 1, y max 1 here to get the color map uh, range for the color map. Next, we define the unit grid with the four vertices like this. Here, P0, P1, P2, and P3. We then call the create a core function to get the vertex position, norm vector, and a color map data for the unit grid. From these uh, double for loops, we get this data for entire surface. The simple surface data function returns the vertex data, norm data, and color data here. Now, we have finished uh, the coding for this file. Now we can save this file. I will stop here for today. In next video, I will show you how to use the color map model and a simple surface data function to create a 3D simple surface plot based on sync math function. Most examples presented in this video series are based on my recently published book, Practical Web GPU Graphics. From this link, drsu.net.com, you can see the details about this book. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video series. From this link, you can download the source code used in this uh, video series. I also created a live demo at this link. This demo shows the live results by running the example projects presented in this video series. I will end this video here. See you next time. Bye.